Hello there, students. Today, we will learn how to estimate the radius of the Earth by watching cats chase sunlight. Let's consider a cat somewhere near the equator watching the sun set. As measured from the center of the Earth, this cat is one Earth radius from the center of the Earth. At some point, the top of the sun will go below the horizon. Our cat will then climb their cat tower, which has a height, h, of 2 meters tall. As they climb the tower, we start our stopwatch. From this new vantage point, our cat can watch the sun for a little bit longer, but after about 12 seconds on our stopwatch, the top of the sun has gone below the horizon again. The new eye line is tangent to the curvature of the Earth, and that farthest point we can see makes a right angle with the another radius of the Earth. The angle between these two legs of the triangle make an angle theta. The distance that it takes our eye line to meet the horizon we will label with a d. We will be using this triangle diagram to find a way to calculate the Earth's radius. Because this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to write our first expression. d squared plus re squared is equal to the quantity re plus h squared. Expanding the right hand side, this quantity is equal to re squared plus h squared plus 2hre. Here we will use a slight approximation. The height, h, in this problem is very small when compared to the radius of the Earth. Therefore, we can ignore the h squared term moving forward. There is an re squared term on both sides of our equation, so we can cancel them. Unfortunately, this value d squared isn't something we know or care about finding. Luckily, we can look at the definition of the tangent of the angle theta to find another equation to use. The tangent of an angle is defined as the opposite length divided by the adjacent length. From our triangle diagram, this corresponds to the tangent of theta is equal to d divided by re. Multiplying re to both sides, we isolate d in this equation. Our first equation has a d squared, so we can square this equation so that it has the same term. Now we have two equations that are equal to the same quantity, d squared. We can set them equal to each other. Now, we solve for re, the radius of the Earth that we want to find. The Earth makes a full 360 degree rotation every day, or once every 24 hours. We can use that information, along with our stopwatch time, to figure out what the angle theta is in our diagram using some equalities. So, given some time t, the Earth will have rotated some angle theta. This is a related rate to the angle it rotates over an entire day. For some angle theta, which is a fraction of the total rotation of 360 degrees, is related to some time t, that is also a fraction of the total time it takes to rotate the 360 degrees, which is one day or 24 hours. Since our stopwatch time is in seconds, we can do some unit conversions to get a result for the time in this equation in units of seconds. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and 60 seconds in a minute. So we are multiplying by 1 here, which we can do any time we like. There is a unit of hour in both the numerator and denominator, so they will cancel. The same for minutes. Multiplying all the values through, we find... Now, we multiply both sides by 360 degrees to isolate the angle theta. And then simplify the numbers and pull the units aside. Revisiting our initial setup, if the cat was on the floor when the top of the sun first went below the horizon, then we started our stopwatch as they climbed to the top of their cat tower, which has a height of 2 meters, we found that the top of the sun went below the horizon after just 12 seconds. Plugging that value for time from our stopwatch into the equation for our angle theta, we find... We now have a value to use for both the height and the angle, so we can finally solve for the Earth's radius.
Using these values, we find the Earth's radius to be 5.3 million meters. The true value for Earth's radius is closer to 6.4 million meters. But this is really close for such a crude experiment.